Hi, this is Highbridge Caravans Devon Branch and on this beautiful May day we are doing a video of this very beautiful, very new, very freshly delivered and very available for sale, amazingly, uh, Adria Sun Living C65SL. So Adria are one of Europe's biggest and oldest motor caravan manufacturers. They are built in Novomesto in the forests of Slovenia. Very very high quality vans um, tailored to the European market although they've been in Europe for over 50, in Britain for over 50 years now as well. Uh, tremendously high quality up there with anything from your premium German brands but of course Adria being a Slovenian company have always had to sell their product into France, Britain and Germany against their own very good domestic products and they've been doing that for say for 60 odd years and absolutely thriving. Sun Living are the sister company to Adria, they're built in the main production facility in Novomesto uh, and they build slightly simpler and slightly more cost-effective vans basically so uh, very very popular with the large German fleet rental companies modern clean lines very well built very tough do the job very very well so this is a new range for this year and it's a compact range so if I stand down the side there you can see looking down the side if I draw a line up from the widest point of the base vehicle up there you can see the body is exactly the same width so that is exactly the same width and not much longer than this van conversion here but if I draw a line up here you can see by the time I get to the top van conversions are egg shaped so you've lost all that space there which you gain back again by going for a narrow body coach built. The other plus side of the narrow body coach built is this is built out of insulation on the back so it's much much warmer than this which is built out of metal and then insulated. This is effectively built out of insulation uh, with a composite frame uh, so you're gaining more space, more warmth, more storage and you can do different layouts. So horses for courses but I think these are great because when you're going down a country lane it's the width that makes the difference not the length so down here in Devon and Cornwall this is only a 6.79 meter van it's very very practical very easy to drive it's also very very light so compared to these which are built out of cast iron these of course are built out of mixtures of GRP aluminium and composite woods so uh, very very light so let's have a little look at the window sheet so it's a brand spanking new freshly delivered still got Slovenian air in it and Slovenian dust on the outside 2022 Sun Living C Series C65 SL it's based on the all new for this year Fiat Ducato X8, that's the very latest Fiat which has uh, uh, been a very rare beast due to component shortages. It's the 140 horsepower with the fantastic German 9 speed fully automatic gearbox. It's a 3 berth with 4 seat belts, 6.79 metres long, only 2.12 wide, 2.79 tall low line with a brochure payload of 841 kilograms that's one of the biggest payloads on the market now that's the brochure payload actual weight of the vehicle might be slightly more than that because this has got some options not included in that such as the uh, the auto box and things but you've still got an absolutely massive payload and really good storage and price is a surprisingly reasonable 64930 on the road and that includes the Lux pack which is things like cab blinds aircon stuff you'd expect it to have anyway it's got the sat nav this one it's got the automatic gearbox which is brilliant and it's got a factory fitted 140 watt solar panel all in with that 64930 if you want extra dealer fit things like a wind out awning or a tv area or alarm system you probably need for insurance they're all things that we can fit before you pick it up so looking great on the uh Fiat Ducato base, it's got the black style pack with the uh, black sort of skid plate down there and shiny bits. It's got the Sun Living badge instead of the big Fiat one. I kind of like the big Fiat one, but such is life. You got Fiat alloy wheels, these five sort of star Penta ones, which are really, really smart and uh, looking good, all in color coded white with fairly minimal graphics in fairness to it. So let's have a little walk around the uh, Around the near side first, it's European van, so these are designed for left-hand drive base vehicles, so the habitation door is of course on the driver's side, as with almost all European vans. Because it's a narrow body van, it's just got the little stubby arm wing mirrors. Heimer build their narrow body vans with truck wing mirrors, so you've got a narrow van with really big mirrors, but these, well you don't need them, so then you've got the little short arm mirrors, which are better down the lanes. You pop your diesel in here, and you also pop your ad blue in there, because it's got the latest Euro 6 G, D, whatever it is, the very latest uh, engine. 
double glazed, fully winterized all the way around. These are set up for skiing use. So you've got an internal freshwater tank, internal pipe work, Truma gas and electric blown air heating, digitally controlled and hot water with a vent for it there. Thepa cassette toilet locker in there with your dump point for your Thepa cassette toilet, like all motorhomes. And you've got 100 amp hour leisure battery with mains hook up, and this one's got the very large 140 watt uh, factory optioned solar panel on the roof. Bedroom window up there, and then we've got your water fill up points for your wa internal water tank there for your fresh water. Now, this is quite high, so obviously, normally with a motorhome, you fill it with a hose, that doesn't really matter. But if you're all leveled off and you want to bring water to your van, you're not really going to want to pour in a watering can that high. So, Adria very nicely fit a little 12 volt socket there for the UK market and it comes with a sucker pump which you can drop a hose into a container of water an aqua roll if you want to carry one like the caravanners do or just a bucket and that will suck the water up and pump it into your fresh water tank which is just a little thing but it's kind of a nice little thing to have coming around to the back of the van so if you want to keep your garage free and put your bikes on the back it's pre-fitted for a Fiamma bike rack back there you got these smart automotive LED uh, brake and turn indicators to the back high level brake light up there uh, reversing camera would probably be a good option to have we can dealer fit one of them or reversing sensors garage is massive you've got two full-size garage doors and a really really big garage here inside the garage is your gas locker this is a European van, so it's got room for two 11 kilo gas bottles. We don't do 11s in this country, so you'll get two 6 kilo Cala gas bottles in here. Or if you want one or two refillable bottles, so gas it or gas low, we can fit your gas low as a cost option, and that's where you fill up um, from uh, LPG at a petrol station, which is handy if you're using an awful lot of gas or you're doing an extended European tour. If you're not, Cala gas bottles, absolutely fine. So it comes with a main hook up cable. That's your sucker pump there for sucking in your water. Uh, that's your little ladder, which will come to inside there. But if you're making the rear single beds into a massive double bed, you've got a little ladder to help you get aboard. Most van patches don't do that, but it's a useful thing. Another nice little thing in here, you've got a blown air heat vent to keep whatever's in your garage above freezing if you're going skiing. And you've also got this winter isolation thing. Now what that is, your fresh water tank, your wastewater tank, sorry, which is underneath the van, is twin skin. And if you just move that slider to the hot position, it will allow your blown air heating to circulate air through the twin skin of your wastewater tank and stop your wastewater from freezing up. So these things really are capable of being used in Arctic condition. They're tested to minus 20, uh, but you can go as cold as you want. Handy little tie down points for things in your garage as well. Drain point as well, so if anything gets wet, it will just drain through. So that's your garage space, really, really good. A couple of other windows on this side, if you want to wind that canopy, as I say, we can fit one up there. That'd be about 900 pound cost option dealer fit. 16 inch wheels which are the bigger optional ones for a, a more comfortable ride. Habitation doors, probably one of the areas where uh, these give themselves away as being the slightly cheaper van. It's not got a window in it, does it really matter? Or a tiny little bin that will fall off in it. Um, it's a door, does the job perfectly well. Uh, as you come in, it's a very European sort of layout this, so this is only 6.7 metres, so if you've been looking at the um, full fat Adria Compact DL, the lounge is where it saves the length. So you've got a typical European lounge, half dinette with two seat belts on the forward facing ones, you've got a table there which will extend outwards if you've got two hands you can do the catch, and then twivel, twin swivel cab seats. You've also got over here, which is your wardrobe as you come in the door there. Really good size wardrobe with hanging space. But you've got a little pull out seat here as well with a cushion that goes on there. So you've got an extra seat if you want somebody else to sit around. But you've got seating for four or five. Turning this into a bed, table will disconnect and drop down. You can hash it into a small single bed. It would do a job for two small kids uh, or one smallish adult. Very nice modern neutral decor in here. You've got this matte white cabinet work greys, two-tone grey upholstery, um, son living name there, upholstery is after characters from Friends and I think this is called Joey or something like that, R ridiculously enough, but it's, it's true. Um, so you've got your twin swivel cab seats, you've got your Remis or Sates concertina cab lines, same on the windscreen as well, it's a pull-up one on the windscreen. You've got your panoramic skylight above that plus a smaller opening skylight above the lounge as well nice use of lighting with up and down strip lighters and uh, movable spotlights you've also got 
in that spotlight rail a USB charger which is good for your passengers to plug into their phones or iPads to charge when they're driving. The new Fiat Ducato X8 is wonderful. It's got electronic power steering. It's got, um, this isn't sat nav actually, it's uh, got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto Play phone mirroring which is better than sat nav because it uses the nav on your phone and keeps you live and up to date. Uh, you've got these high gloss switch gear, uh, manual air conditioning, the 9 speed ZF German fully automatic gearbox which is also used by BMW and Jaguar Land Rover in Range Rovers and BMW cars amongst others. Um, all sorts of posh things, hill descent control, cruise control, air conditioning which is all steering wheel controlled now on your three spoke Mercedes style steering wheel. If I open up the driver's door you can see you've got your digital dash, or semi-digital dash anyway, it's all looking very smart and modern there. The issue this year, of course, has been that due to uh, the Ukrainian invasion and Covid, none of the commercial van manufacturers can get the bits to build vans. So this van we were hoping for in October, it's just turned up, so this was going to be a display model, but there's no point in keeping it now. So this is probably one of the last vans we'll have in a long long time on a forecourt which is brand new and available for sale so uh, if you are interested don't hang around on this one so that's your lounge and your cab specification kitchen other difference with this and the long longer DL this is basically a Adri compact SL in Sun Living guys you don't get an oven so it's a, again a European sort of style of thing not for everybody but you've got three gas burners undercount the fridge freezer which is a, a very good size in there with a full width freezer so that's plenty big enough for my money that's a that's a very good size and this is a three-way one nice deep sink some good sized drawers so you can carry plenty of cooking equipment with you sink cover there and chopping board and then your bedroom so I say this is probably a van for European taste where you're out and you're doing stuff so you've got big storage capacity and you've got a massive and very comfortable bed so really really big just way over six foot single beds that side that side might be six foot this one's six two six three really wide very comfortable mattress space in there and you can if you wish slide this out and connect it all together to make a uh, a really big double bed so that just goes on there so you can see and that's where your little ladder comes in that we saw in the garage so that'll clip on there to help you get in i don't think you really need that because you can step up here and i've got short legs and i'm at hip height so it would be easy enough to get in without the ladder but if you want to put the ladder on you can do looking around the back there we've got three high level storage cupboards for your clothes and things we've got more of these Clever little movable spotlights with another USB charger over there. You can move these spotlights along the rails as well. Really neat. Up lighters, down lighters, skylight, big opening side windows. You've got the pull down, pull up blind, pull down fly screen on all of these as well. And yeah, it's a very smart, modern place to be. Now there's a TV point back here, so if you wanted us to fit a bracket, we should be able to strengthen and fit a bracket onto there and fit a TV aerial on the roof as a cost option if you wanted. And then we've got even more storage hidden away here. So we've got storage in the step, that's really big. And we've got two really big internal storage cupboards here as well, that's massive again. That's got another hanging rail into it if you want it as a second wardrobe. And we've got more storage over here as well so loads and loads of room you could use that for some extra food storage if you wanted from your kitchen and then more storage and possibly some drains and equipment underneath of there no even more storage so you're not lacking in room to carry your gear with you despite it being a narrow body van it's only 6.8 meters so this is it this is oh the bathroom let's have a look in the bathroom mustn't forget that we've got a fly screen door there Room, a digital control panel for heating your van and your hot water very simple then we've got a uh, very very simple and straightforward control panel this is great swift pay attention to this you don't need apps and touch screens and multi functions you just want a button that tells your water to come on 
and a button that tells you how much water you've got and how much battery power you've got. That's all you need. Let's not complicate things like, say, British manufacturers do. And then the bathroom. Narrow body vans struggle a bit for washroom space because of the narrowness, but this has managed to fit in a separate shower. So we've got a skylight up there, which I like. We've got a hanging rail up there so you can drip dry your wet stuff. There's a heat vent in here as well, which you can close if you want because it gets hot in there, but that's good if you're, if you're draining things. And then we've got this shower door, whatever you call it, a separate shower screen door there. Now the sink uh, is absent and that's because it's a drop down one which makes sense uh, for my money in these. So we've got storage up there, storage in here for all of your ablutions and then over here we've got your drop down sink which is a very good size in fairness to it. it does a job, doesn't take up any space which when you're on a space limited place I think that makes sense and you've got your tap to come around there. So this is it, this is our 2022 freshly delivered, our one and only, to quote Chesney Hawks, uh, Sun Living C65 SL from Adria in Slovenia. It comes with a five year body shell warranty, a two year Fiat warranty, including two years uh, international breakdown assistance and recovery. Uh, it comes with a two year kit and equipment warranty from Adria and you can go to a service network that's all across the UK. It's very smart. It's modern, it's very well built, it's not overly complicated, and it's just overall a good egg. Now everything after these last 22s, and this is pretty much our last 22 uh, for sale, once these are gone, everything will be going up another 5 or 10%. It's autumn, unfortunately, as Stellantis, who build the base vehicles, putting the price up again. And with the worldwide inflation and lack of availability of things, the price of all the components is going up. Nobody wants this, but just the world that we live in. And it makes these current vans, if you can get one, a very, very good buy. But there's basically none left, apart from this one. So if you're interested, contact us today at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon. We are just off the A38 South Devon Expressway uh, at the end of the M5 between Exeter and Plymouth. We're nice and easy to get to. We've got railway trains and airports and all sorts of things. Uh, this is priced at 64,930. Add a couple of grand or 1500 quid, we can fit you an alarm and awning and all your other bits and bobs that you want as well. Uh, it's available, it's in stock today. Contact us today, Highbridge Motorhomes Devon. Thank you very much. Goodbye.